My wife and I moved to Sharon, Massachusetts in 1994, and in the year 2000, we decided we wanted to find a bigger home in Sharon and closer to the center of town, and a, an older home, a historic home. What we first fell in love with immediately in the home was opening up to this grand foyer. And uh, it just was kind of a beautiful entrance, beautiful feng shui uh, coming in, and you felt almost immediately at peace. Uh, you felt welcomed into this very warm and comforting home. When we first came into the house, we were in total love. But we had some thoughts, some visions in terms of what we wanted the house to become. We had this thought that we wanted to renovate and restore it and really modernize it in a way where we could take all of the technology and the appliances in the, in the home and uh, infuse it into beautiful antiques and period objects. As you go up the staircase to the second floor, which is the bedroom floor, there are four bedrooms, uh, master bath, and master bedroom, and the guest room has a sleeping porch. Because of the uniqueness of our home, we've been fortunate enough to be featured in some newspapers and magazines. The Mansion section of the Wall Street Journal, Boston Homes Magazine, and Victorian Homes Magazine. So a really unique feature of this house is that it sits on 2.64 acres. I think we have the largest lot uh, in the center of Sharon. We decided to move to Sharon because of the school systems, some of the best in the state. But Sharon is not just about the schools, it has so much more. The train station is literally a three or four minute walk from our house. In 25 minutes door to door from my house to South Station in Boston, so it's very convenient. We also have lots of great restaurants and cafes, the post office, it only takes me a three or four minute walk to get to the center. A great feature in Sharon too is that we have a very large lake. It has a beach, you can go boating, fishing. You don't have to go anywhere else. You can just vacation in Sharon. 